Why Donald Trump? For me, okay, back in 2016, I flew from Tokyo, Japan, where I live, to come back here to make sure I voted for Donald Trump. He's not your average politician. He's a guy that makes mistakes, that say things that are stupid, because we all do stupid things. We do crazy things. The black community don't, don't know what Donald Trump did for black people. Trump is a business person, and I like the way he negotiates. You know, and, and, and he, he, when we had him as president, we didn't have a lot, we had respect. America was respected. He is definitely looking out for the best interests of America. I mean, that is without a doubt. You know, I just hate that it takes black people so long to even wake up to come around to it. I mean, do you think as a, as a as a population demographic, black people have come around to Trump? You wouldn't have seen this <laughs> a, a long time. You wouldn't have seen it, this right here so much during his last administration. It was people like myself and people like a, a lot of other people with the Frederick Douglass Foundation that stood up for Trump. And then, you know, we had to fight the church and everybody else because sometimes they don't like it when you don't think like they do. Here's the other thing. A lot of us thought we were alone and didn't want to speak out. Now, you can feel a whole black, a room full of black people. And, and I, I get them every day because I'm one that speaks out. And I'll get someone to walk up to me and say, man, are you, uh, man I like Trump. What, what do you think? Or they'll say, what do you think about Donald Trump? I say, man, I love Trump. <laughs> I say, hell. <laughs> I ask you. Ramon Arroyo on Fox News said yeah. that he thinks that the black voters that like Donald Trump are because he likes sneakers. You know, that was Fox like News sneakers. saying it. Yeah. Oh, because he came out with those sneakers and, and, and he slapped it in the judge's face and he sm slapped it in the, the liberals' face because they want to charge him $350 million and he made that back in less than an hour on sneakers. No, that's a smart man. Okay, so they can say what they want to say, you know. So, so no, 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 it's not about that. Black America is tired of, of, of being prostituted. We're t tired of being prostituted, tired of being lied to, tired, tired of being manipulated, tired of having those doggy bones like he was telling you up there with the, with the black colleges where every year you got to come back and beg for some, some money. Why didn't your black president do that for you? Let's talk about these indictments, 91 of oh, them. All right, boy, no. we got to. You don't want to get me on that. I do, Please I promise. don't get me on that. See, no. and now, this is another thing that the, that, that the, that the Democrats has done. Now, how, how do, have you noticed that every state that they basically want to indict him and all this and all that, black women, pretty much a black woman. Okay, so, 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 so. They set this up. In Georgia, and it, you're talking about in Georgia, Fonnie no, Willis no, in Georgia. Fool, that, that, the one up there in New York. that Letitia that, James. And, and, and the guy. She ran off of destroying Trump. Now, if we did that, if we did that as, 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 as Republicans, they'd throw that out. I'm, I'm going to run to destroy a person. And Malcolm X said it the best. He said it the best. He, you know, here's how clever they are. They use black people that they have conditioned and, and for many years and they put them in these spots. You understand? So what is he going to throw? What, what can he say to a black woman? A black man can't even say nothing to a black woman without something happening. How is a white man going to say something to a black woman today without something happening? You can't call her a stupid... <laughs> you, know, you can't call her a B-word, although that's all they, they, they hear through our music. Okay, so 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 that then so they're using they're using these black people. I mean, it's just like the Ku Klux Klan. They, they may as well send. We may as well go back to the Klan days. Donald Trump down there in in Georgia think he's gonna get a fair trial. He's not gonna get a good trial there. He's not gonna get it. You know, this is all a lynching. You know? If twelve jurors convict him on any of these counts, where does that put you? What, what do you think of a convicted? president or president to be democracy is gone okay you know we didn't we didn't convict nixon you know and he first of all well, nixon was pardoned well 
Okay, America is going to be in a bad situation. And it would be more divided, and it could even lead to a war. Because the thing of it is, if they can do that to a president, then they can do that anything to us. And that's the way I see it. You, you know, and we don't have any, we, 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 there'll be no rules and regulations, there'll be no uh, democracy here in America anymore. And you know what? The, the Democrats don't care. They, what, what, what makes you say that? Because they're willing to push it to the edge to have a war, to do this, to, to a civil war again. Because they think they're getting, I mean, look at what they're doing. You're about bringing communities together. You told me some of the yes, work I you am. do. The Democrats say about the Republicans the exact same thing that the Republicans and conservatives say about the liberals. Well, who's America. lying? I mean, who tells the most? It, all well, of maybe they're both right. Okay. Is it possible that both are right, that both are pushing it to an edge? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you take, when you take prayer out of the schools, when you take the black man out of the household and you say, I'm your daddy, baby. I'm going to pay you for every little child you have, and I don't, you don't need that man, okay? And when, when, that's the reason we have all these traumas and the problems we have in America right now, because there's no fathers for these kids. And that's why juvenile crimes are up 200%. Who do, who do, who do we blame? You're blaming that on the Democrats. Well, or? It started then. It started then. When they took the black man out of, out of the home, when they set this whole situation up, when they said that the black woman is more valuable than the black man because they're going to pay her more. I mean, all of this, but the, you know, but the whole thing is, is that we need God in our lives. Okay, this is, this is without dispute. Do we, we need God in our politics? Oh, I think we need God to lead our country in our politics. You know, we have separation of church and state in this country by original document. Do you think that that's something we should still enforce? Well, this, this country was built. Okay, I live in Japan. The Japanese don't give a damn what I think over there. <laughs> I can go over there and scream, Jesus is my savior. This, this, this. Go ahead. America is built on Christianity. Be it right or be it damn wrong. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? We have a First Amendment too, right? Yeah, you have the right to worship who you want to. And if you don't like what we do, get the hell out of the country. As simple as that. I, if I don't like what Japanese do, I shut the hell up or I adapt. Why should we change our beliefs because somebody else is going to get offended? Your child, your child can sit in the classroom and don't have to participate. For my black people, read a little bit. Find out what Donald Trump has done for the black community. He's done more than your black Jesus, Obama.